This episode of Quite Frankly was made possible by our friends from MacFun. Great photo editing software for Mac. Go to our special MacFun community website for exclusive deals just for you guys. guys, today a very quick tip to get rid of stray hairs. As you can see our model Danix, he looks awesome right in this shot. The only thing is all these stray hairs. Now you can of course use the clone tool and take them all out and against the black background that's pretty easy. But if you have a more complex background that can be very very difficult and time consuming. So what can you do to get rid of them really fast? Well, there's something called the quick selection tool which you find here in Photoshop. Now you take a brush, make sure that everything is at 100% and you just paint over the stray hairs. There we go. And of course normally you zoom in to 100% to make sure you do it nicely. I'm now doing it very quickly for the video. So you can also take some stuff from the background. And this even works if you go to 100% and you go into the skin area. Where, well, let's make the brush a little bit smaller for this. So don't want to make it too rough. There we go. So make sure you hit all the hairs and a little bit extra because you're actually using a soft brush. So. And that's okay. There we go. Now disengage the quick selection mask there we go and now make sure and this is very very important that you do an inverse selection because otherwise you well you do the next step and everything is gone except the hairs that you want gone so now everything is um, inverted and now you press delete or backspace and use content aware now you press ok and you wait for a little while and there you go all the stray hairs are gone, like magic. And it goes way faster than just cloning and taking everything out by hand. So that's our tip for today, using the quick selection mask to get rid of unwanted stray hairs or, of course, other elements in your picture. See you next time.